Today we need to get into V screaming in a behind the scenes clip and people talking about this. We need to get into people saying that V might have gotten a painful stomach pain from the military. And then we have the CEO of Hybe finally addressing things. So you don't please this Dave decide hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a tasteling mug merch, and let's go. We need to talk about people addressing Scooter Braun's most recent post and people getting very upset over this post. People have a lot to say online recently about Scooter and I find the conversation very interesting. The actions of what a company does or who is running the company isn't really affecting the day-to-day -day actions of the artists. At the end of the day, the artists themselves can still choose who they want to work with or not. And if someone was actively and had been proven guilty of doing illegal things that was big news, you don't see members like John Cook or whoever working with that criminal. If you're not aware of what is going on, let me give you a quick recap. Hybe has been under fire for being a supporter of Zionism, which is believed to be a culprit in genocide. And artists in Hive have been seen working or collaborating with companies and other artists that are believed to have Zionist beliefs. This was even a bigger deal as Hype America was given to be overrun by Scooter Braun and Scooter took the position of CEO. You can see that as we have seen artists like Usher work with John Cook, which allegedly could likely be a direct result of Hype collaborating with Scooter. Now, Scooter has gotten these allegations of Zionism and the belief of genocide for a long time and since the war started. My personal belief is that believing in a religion or an ethnicity does not qualify for the belief of genocide. Those things don't correlate. However, fans want Scooter away from Hive, and fans have even angrily sent mass emails to Hive requesting Scooter be removed. Y'all realize Scooter is the CEO, right? Like if someone reads it, they have to give it to the CEO before they can take action on it, in which case Scooter would just throw out the email. But anyhow, Scooter has addressed these accusations a couple of times. And of course, he has said he does not want genocide. And at this point, I don't know what people want from Scooter, because if he were to change his religious beliefs now, he'd look like a terrible person. Scooter has addressed things one more time recently, and he posted on a story on Instagram that made people get very angry for some reason. He posted a screenshot of a tweet to his Instagram from someone that was talking about how the justice system clarified that Israel is not attempting to do genocide and that never was their plan. Of course, the tweet also added the war isn't over and there was no ceasefire because the real root of why they're fighting still hasn't been resolved. When Scooter posted this, people took it to X or Twitter and basically said that Scooter is being delusional and then mass people asking Scooter to rid himself from hype. I'm not understanding being delusional about what? The majority of these people tweeting this are not Israeli or any opposing side and thus should not have an opinion. To understand what either side wants from this war, you need to understand the history of both sides, which I'm willing to bet more than half of these people tweeting against Scooter have no idea what the history is. Also, I don't understand calling Scooter delusional. He is saying he doesn't support genocide. Isn't that the whole point? Didn't fans want to know once and for all if he does support or not? He says he does not should have just been the end of the internet war. Instead, people want to fight against him and still want to send threats. What for at this point? Oh, I understand. Because it was never about justice or doing what is right. It's about trying to control others who are actually more powerful than them. But I will say if these haters keep messing with people they shouldn't be, they'll end up with a very strong lawsuit that they will have to pay for with the rest of their life. And it amazes me that these people are the first to threaten legal action to other people but have no clue that those same legal actions can be taken on them because these haters are not going to post the video or a post and then just go about their lives. They are literally messaging Hype investors, Hype companies, sending threats to the CEO and their family. Like, are they okay? It must be very tough and exhausting to spend so much time and energy into creating your art or work only to see that the public perception of that piece of work is not what you hoped and people actually hate it. Of course, for Scooter Braun, Hive is his life right now. And for people like V, his work was none other than IU's music video, which people tore apart and had some awful things to say about it. V is a fantastic actor and I've always wanted him to go back into acting and was so glad to see him do little acting things before he enlisted. And a clip went viral recently of V's ability to be able to act and it really showed how amazing he is as an actor. The behind the scenes clip shows V and IU right before the ending of 
of the music video and right before the big cube overtook their lives. If you haven't seen the video, make sure you go and check it out. And also, if you want to watch it with me and see my reaction, then go over to Patreon. I'll link it right at the top of the description. But anyway, the scene was interesting because V grabs a big stick or whatever and then begins hitting this cube with all his strength and try to destroy it. It's supposed to be a very emotional scene and it's a scene where it requires a visceral reaction because this is a moment where in the story, if he doesn't react, then he and his wife could lose their lives. So the team ends up holding a pole where V can hit and then V uses all his energy and screams with all his energy as he is hitting this pole. But of course, in the video, it appears he is hitting this cube. Of course, this was a reaction that people felt was Oscar worthy because it is very strong. It feels very real and it feels like V is screaming in pain and for his life. And even from just this moment, you could tell that he would be a fantastic actor in other scenes because it's not just the screaming and whacking with the pole that makes this a great scene because he is not just screaming. It's the way he swings the pole, the way he drops it and then how he's out of breath and sort of gives up and accepts that this is it. The reaction he has on his face went from this is my last to live to changing into that's it there's nothing else I can do this is not working obviously that is very powerful and he does it in a way that isn't too much and too fake and also not too subtle he hits the beats of course with him being such a talented person people are scared that he won't reach his entire potential if he is injured or hurt in the military people were very scared that he might have gotten a stomach pain from the military food that fear doesn't really come from nowhere and if you followed bts for a long time the last few years i can understand where this comes from there was a situation where it was believed v mentioned how he his stomach cannot handle spicy foods so this could be a stomach pain or whatever it was it was also believed that during a performance, we could see V holding his stomach and apparently he addressed this over on Weavers to say that he was okay shortly after that performance. People then took it to figure out what V's condition might have been in relation to his stomach pain. Now, I believe it's interesting to know that he might not be okay in certain situations, but for people to be looking into it and trying to get medical diagnosis, why? So you can send a medicine, there's no reason to know exactly what the condition is. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of people can get stomach aches from spicy foods. Spices are literally things that are actually physically burning you. It's not just your taste buds being lit on fire, it's actually burning you. So that doesn't necessarily even have to be a condition, it could just be normal. People were then worried if V was eating correctly at the camp and if he was eating foods that would cause him pain. I saw some videos and reports saying that a nurse from the camp was leaking that V had a severe stomach pain and was in urgent care. I don't know where they got that information, but nothing like that was ever leaked as to my knowledge. And also given that V might be aware of what spicy foods do to him, why would he go ahead and eat it? The military can provide food alternatives and also not everything on a plate has to be spicy. Asian foods are very much a little bit of everything as opposed to one dish. So there's a variety of flavors on the plate coupled with things like rice or soup. If V felt like, I don't know, the kimchi was too spicy, then he'd just not eat it. There's plenty of other foods there that he can have and I don't know what the logistics of food is there. However, I would imagine since it's a lot of grown men working out all day, they would give you plenty of food as to not be hungry or pass out. This idea that V is in danger over something that he can just deal with himself comes from this idea that people in the fandom believe that he cannot take care of himself. I can guarantee if V knows that a specific spicy food is going to hurt him, he just won't eat it. It's almost the same way as we can feel bad if our friend or family has an allergy or something and we can help look out for them but they have to take care of themselves and that responsibility is on them. And if you're extending such a courtesy to trust your friends or family, but not the idol, you need to reevaluate some things. V will be okay and he will be stronger than ever coming out of the military. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.